do 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 Marshy Marsh. Hey guys, it's Marcy Mars here, and um, today we are inside cows. Yes, I know it's the server everybody wishes they could join. Uh, where all of my builds are, you see, <coughs> is the uh, kit PVP spawn, the map, the the survival spawn, which is half loaded. It's even got the Christmas tree. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, just, you know, thought I'd show that before we start. Uh, there's loads of other stuff in here, but, you know, that's for another time. Basically, in this video, I am going to be flying out and finding a spot to, uh, show you guys how to build one of these. Which is, of course, my little, um, stone rustic house with the, um, let's turn the speed down. Whoa, okay, there we go with the uh, kind of weird detail on it you see and uh, I haven't decided which one of them I'm gonna build I think it would just be a completely different one to any of these it would just be actually probably be more like this one just a tiny little rustic stone house I guess with a little chimney and everything so anyway let me go and find a spot for this and I'll be right back Okay, so I found a lovely little spot out here, and uh, now there are a few blocks you're going to need. Okay, <laughs> hang on, what? Oh, okay, it's just a village, don't worry guys, I'll just get it out of render distance. Oh, uh, okay, there we go. Perfect, right, let's reset the home. So, inside my spawn village, I mainly use this block, which is called 438. So this one looks like this. However, it's not possible in survival, so I'm not going to use it in this video. I'm going to use wool instead, which is another fantastic option. Um, now, the blocks you're going to need are, of course, wool. Um, I, I, I have no idea how much of it you're going to need. I'll count it up at the end for you, put it in the description. You'll definitely need some half slabs. I know that. Uh, get yourself some stone bricks, some stone stairs because obviously we're going to be using a lot of stone uh, now for the floor I like to use stone but you can use wood um, wood works fantastically I recommend using oak wood spruce wood or this acad planks these three look pretty good birch wood's a bit too light jungle wood just yeah I mean I guess dark oak would look nice but the contrast would just be awful so if you like contrast go for it but if you don't well then <laughs> now you can you can use some of these little bricks here but I normally weld edit them in at the end so I do a little percentage replacement thing um, so you're basically going to need chisel quartz which are a fantastic decoration block sorry I've got a bit of a cold here uh, stone bricks uh, stone stairs stone slabs stone and wool and that's about it for the actual base of the build first thing you want to do is place down a block now oh I forgot to turn my speed down oh there okay okay so every three you basically want to place down another block now for the length of this I'm going to do two but you can go as far as you want um, and then basically what you want to do is now there's two ways to do this you can either oh, have it going up one or you can have it at a ground level so you can have the windows here. I prefer to do them up one. Just a just a personal preference of mine. On the houses I built here in the spawn village, I went ahead and done the wall straight on here. However, in in the other build for uh, kit PvP and stuff, the wall was actually in one. So depending on which style you prefer you know you might like the look of this better but it gives you just less room inside um, and then you can do your detail here I like to add my detail onto the outside of it which is why I, I like doing it this way but if you want a more simple house then I'd recommend doing it in the middle and then kind of putting some hatches around the windows or something um, hatches uh, what are they called um, I think that yeah they are called hatches aren't they the little um Trapdoors, that's it. Not hatches. <laughs> right, I don't know where I got hatches from. So basically, you, you just want to go round and you want to fill in all these windows. 
Actually, hang on. The door, right. You Basically, the door is the same as these windows, only one block down. Or you, I guess in some of my builds, they do do it up here. But uh, most of the time, I like to like cut away at this a bit and then have this as like a little balcony area and then have the door, I don't know, like there and then you'd have a little balcony here and it looks all lovely. You may notice if you go to the spawn and you head towards the centre, you'll see one of them style houses. Are you kidding me? It's still one too short. We, uh, I, we are just not good at this. I mean, I am. I'm trying to blame you guys. I shouldn't be, but I am. Right, hang on. Let's, there we go. Perfect. So, the door on this build, on these particular houses, I prefer doing the doors to the side here. Um, so you want to kind of just... Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, you want to do that, you see. Now, up here would be that if it was like this, but we'll just cut that away for, for a second. You'll see, uh, once we add the detail, you'll, um, you'll understand. Because this will be like a little archway thing. By the way, I'm only going to do one floor on this, but if you want to add another floor, you can either come out a block, so you'd um, you'd go up like this, and then you come out, and then you do your second floor, uh, and then of course you'd um, so say that's your second floor, right? You'd have like a block here. I would say use it, it when you're using stone. I'd say use a chiseled one and then a button. But if you're using wood, you use a uh, a log and then a button. Uh, you can put buttons on each side, but what I prefer to do on the sides is kind of when when I use wood, I normally do like oh, what's it called a uh, fence. That was it. But on, on stone, this kind of looks better. This kind of shape here, so it kind of looks like it's all hauled up, held up, not hauled. But since we're only doing one floor, I mean, we will do something like that, but it won't be as it won't be as dramatic. And then. Basically, you just want to build up your walls. Now, what I like to do is I like to go one higher than that because um, when you're building your roof, it really helps you to um, kind of get the sense of how it's going to be. You'll see once we get there, but basically, doing this, it kind of lets you see what each of the things are. And then once you get to do your roof, you can kind of plan which side so basically you want to kind of count these or you can count the windows you don't actually have to do this but you can like count these and then you can see so the one with the less of them that's where you want to have your open side so because you if this was open and that was open it wouldn't work so this side here is going to be open with an arch and then this side over here is going to be open with an arch and then these two walls will just be back roofs so next thing you want to do is in here you you want to place down your floor. I'm going to use stone, as I said. Use anything, really. I mean, wood does work pretty well. Oh, gee, I've done the door in the wrong place. I I built it. You see, I've kind of got used to doing this other style where you have um your door here and stuff, but your door should be up here. Actually, you could do your, fl your door at the ground if you lower this down one and then you can kind of see the logs, but that's not how i done it in survival. Um, that's how i done it in kit PvP. I'm getting my two styles confused here. We're going to have like a, a rustic viking house in a second. <laughs> rustic has it more like this, where the floor's up, because they couldn't be bothered to dig. That's, that's just how I always put it. So now I get rid of the two blocks here. Them two are going to be the ones where the roof is, so that they won't be there, and then I like to do this so that I know because that's going to be like more of a support frame and then you normally do a window up there right we're going to have to do the roof first so there's two ways you can do it you can do it straight up on there or you can do what I do and you can come out one and do it along here and you basically just want to place your roof when, when you're kind of planning out windows you have to make sure you have enough space so here I have four so you know the the space for a window is kind of this um, this kind of shape. You see, that's that's what how we can fit a window in here. Now, you, what you want to do is you want to kind of come out one for this window, and then you want to place two stairs each side, and delete these blocks behind them. And then up here, you want to kind of turn that in, and then delete the, oh, delete those blocks. 
Now up here is where it kind of comes out, so you want to do that, and then have one of these like this, and then one like that, and one like that, and then you kind of built a little window frame. Now, when you when you're adding panes in here, let me just get a pane. It might not work. Yeah, hang on. I think you might have to use blocks. Blocks. Now you see, all of these windows are one, so I guess we could make this a one wide window. And then we could have a kind of um, thing here, you see, and then it kind of fits together a bit better than it did. And maybe come that out one more, get rid of this, replace it with a half slab. Or if you wanted to, you could use a hatch. I think, yeah, a hatch would look better here. Um, and then if you want to make it symmetrical, replace that with this, and then another one. And then there you go. You see, I like to turn these in like this. And then in here, what you do is, you see, you have this kind of gap here, right? And you, if you fill that in, you have this little kind of window area. And if you place paint there, it's perfect, you see? <laughs> and then you've got like a kind of little window ledge and stuff. And then hatches don't look quite as nice anymore. So, yeah. And then once the roof's hanging over it, it looks a lot better. Trust me on that one. You see, making it ugly before you make it beautiful. I want to keep the same pattern as what i done up there, so I'll go ahead and do this. Now, you want to skip out that bit, because that's not a window. That is a pillar, and pillars work a bit different to these. Now, actually, I want to put these, as I said, it's planning, so put them like that. Or if you wanted to make it pop out more, I guess you could do it like that. It works as well. Uh, I don't know. What one... I think that looks a bit better. I'll leave it like that. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to build it up again with the two in the middle. Now for these bits, there's things that you can do that are different. I'm just going to use half slabs. And then in these corners, you want to use some fence. Or, you know, you could use the hatches, as I keep saying to you. You could just use them. That looks pretty good if I just do my fence here. It's, you know, when you're doing these, it's kind of, you want to kind of do it in more of your own style, do your own thing, rather than copying me. I mean, again, you know, you could do stairs here and keep the stair thing going. You could do literally anything. The stairs, you know, might look nicer to you, and then maybe that you don't like. You want to just replace it with this, maybe get get one of them on there. I quite like this, you see. And then, so, the idea is just to build it up as best you can. I know it may seem stupid, but some, t I mean, Silky hates when I use anvils, but I love them so much. You see, when you use an anvil, the uh, the bars around it don't get, like, messed up, so you can kind of just use them and, nah, it doesn't work. Getting this bit right is essential to any build, seriously. Like, if you can get this good... There we go. That's perfect. Got this little little thing going on there. And then up here you want to make this different, so we'll we'll do that. Or I guess if we, if we want to make it more of an an arch, we could build out the arch a bit and then kind of hmm have that like that, have that coming out. Yeah. And then want to make these this way so that it's more of an arch. Perfect. We're going in and then I'll replace or along here I'll place these. Get some slabs in. <laughs> See, just building it up. I think we'll um maybe do some stairs even. No, we want to show some white. So I don't know, maybe so doing that, we'll do this because there's still a distinct line there, like that you can see, because of these things on the edges. There we go, and then get that in there. Fence, one of those. Yeah, it's not bad. Once the roof's on, it'll it'll be a bit better. 
Okay guys, so I've literally just finished that roof. As you can see, it's looking nice. Now, here's how it would look if you hadn't done that detail on that side. Well, actually, hang on. Let's come around here. If you hadn't done the detail, it just ignore this bit, okay? <laughs> that's not there. It, see, not there. Right, that's how it would look. And then if, if you weren't going to do any detail, I would... Um, See, look, even the inside looks cool. Uh, then I would probably just fill this all in. And then maybe, maybe just double these up. If you don't want to do an arch either, then, you know. I want to show you guys how to do it without detail as well. So that's how it would kind of look without doing any detail on it, if I was going to build it without any. Um, although I'd probably put flowers and stuff around the bottom just to make it that bit nicer. Now another thing actually, while while I just noticed it, um you might actually just want to replace these like this because honestly this is a window and that's how it should be. Now the window might be a bit low. Yeah, you're not really with that low window you wouldn't really want to get a second floor in here. Actually I'll just leave it like that suits it actually um you you wouldn't really expect to get a second floor with that to be honest um because if you do this the window's going to be there ah uh, gee so maybe just did i fill these in oh all right uh anyway just just kind of fill that border like this or if you want i mean this kind of looks like a support frame um, or if you wanted to, actually, hang on, let me delete this. I've got a better idea. I haven't. This is this is a little thing that Chewbacca kind of got me liking. So if I just fill this in, I must have forgot to do a, a row of stairs on that side. So what Chewbacca normally does is he does support beams across the building. So from across the two large sides, so like that. And um, when you're down here, it looks pretty cool. So it, it's really easy. And now, now look, you see? Now, for this doorway, cut away the top three rows here. You want to come out one like this. Same on this side. And then up here, you want to add some slabs. Three out. And you want to get two of these on. And then in here, you want to do a stair here with a slab there and a slab of slab there, no hang on, just a slab there with a stair that goes upside down. Now we have a little archway around our door, maybe, actually you could do that one lower if you really wanted to, maybe, actually yeah, it probably look better if you do it one lower, or actually if you, if you're really feeling it, go ahead and do a double arch like this comes out a bit further though uh, I'm just gonna keep it keep it one lower than that you still want to delete these three blocks though if you are yeah I'm sorry this isn't <laughs> my video is not very survival friendly and then you want to do this just so that you get a kind of thing going on. Oh, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then I'll just ext that's a stair. Oh, where's my slabs? Slab, slab. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll just um, <laughs> I'll just keep it like that, <laughs> right? So there's our little doorway. Or if you want, you could do a snub, a stub nose one. And if we're doing, do one like that there. And now, by the way, if you are doing it this style here, you might want to just put one of these up the top, just so it kind of looks like it's like hanging. If you know what I mean, it just 
Uh, just do it, okay? Don't question me. <laughs> Let's see. Do two of them. Get some fence. Ah, perfect. We'll do that. So I'll go ahead and finish the other two sides. And I will be right back. Okay, guys. So I've done that now. Well, almost. I'm just finishing off it. Um... Oh, hang on. What's happened? That's, that's... That's matched up with it. How? Did, oh, okay. I, d I done the top row wrong. Oh, gee. I'm an old mouse. Okay, right. So, basically, after they do this, the outside's practically done. There's a little 360 view of it. So, the archway. <laughs> right, so... Basically, what I like to do is like to come up one, come up another one, and then another two. So you go up one, another one, and then two. I mean, two out. So you you go out one, then you go out another one. You see? Uh, so it kind of flows, you see? Kind of like curves up rather than being quite sharp. And the next thing to do is just replace all of these outside ones with things like this. So, basically, what I like to do is I like to start here and just kind of build back. So, half slab. And then another one. Another one will go there. Another one there. Another one there. Another one there. There. Okay, um, now over here, this one kind of comes out too. You see, it's a delicate process. And then them two will get replaced, because there's also a slab there. And that's it done. You see? Finished. What? Yeah, actually, hang on. We, um, I'm going to put a fence there, just so it... There we go. So now we want to build the interior. So the first step to doing this is you need torches. So it's a medieval rustic house, so torches are essential, and you want to do them on these four things here, like that. And now it's lovely and light. Now up here it gets really, really dark, so what I tend to do is I just throw two torches there and there. Now if you are using wood to build this, um, choose your log of choice which say spruce this here would be wood so you'd have your log here all of these would be logs so you'd have you know logs here you see what I'm getting at here and in fact if you wanted to you could make these logs just one lower so it kinda looks like it's you know pushing it up a bit it's just a matter of what you feel works best now, if you are actually using wood, I would say use one wood for the floor. So the colours I would use are oak wood for the floor, spruce wood for the, um, see where all this white is, I'd use spruce. And then for the logs, spruce. Or actually dark oak logs might look nice as well. Or I, I have actually bought one of these in AK wood. I've used that for the, um, the walls and this for the white you know the wall and then I've used dark oak for the floors and it looks lovely and so does spruce wood for the floor of the kitchen so I normally place down two of them two of them uh, the anvil there or actually you could do this oh oh no up there So you got this little kitchen, <laughs> and then you need rails. I I use detector rails for this because they look like stoves. It doesn't matter if they connect because it kind of it still looks like a stove. <laughs> the ladders just kind of complete the front. I don't know. I just normally I build this inside where where is it? Ozo Craft, the Ozo Craft pack, and it looks a bit different. Let me just show you. You see, it looks looks like 
it looks just you got these little stoves and stuff. Um <laughs> you got these little um things like cutting boards. And also another pack that it looks good in, just while we're doing packs, I guess. Um is the flows and one of my favourites, where is it? Revelance. Mr. Realistics. Come on. This takes so long. Right, there we go. Perfect. I love this pack. So, you know, you've got this little... It looks like granite worktop. And then this actually looks like a, a grill. It looks so cool. And then these kind of look like, you know... Okay, they they look more like workbenches, but it's... You know, just imagine it's a kitchen knife and stuff. Um, it's, oh, it's just so cool. Anyway, back to default, because that's what I'm going to use to show you guys this. Um, so the next thing I like to do is get a bucket of water, and somebody's at my door, so I have to just, I'll just do this, and then I'll go and get my door. Boom. With a tap and a... Um, this thing done kitchen okay i'll be right back okay guys sorry about that i'm back now <laughs> okay the ladders may look a bit stupid but i like them okay you know the way i said that you know you, you're never gonna have to modify the outside again sorry about that guys if you want a fireplace you're gonna have to yep just just break it just <laughs> it's a sad day but hey, fireplace. Now, for this, you literally just choose direction and just click. Done. <laughs> there's no, there's no, not really any kind of set shape for this. I mean, y you can just go mental. There you go. It's perfect. So, heading back inside again, uh, we'll do this fireplace, because now we have a spot for it. Fireplaces, um, particularly in that build I, I done, uh, look something like this. They're, they're round. And then there's two in like that. And then, actually, if you come in here, you want to place two like this. And then right there's where you place your nether rack. You need a you need a lighter or a flinted steel, if you will. Done. Fireplace. How cool is that? And now we need some seats. So clear your infantry. Well, when I say clear your infantry, <laughs> I know it's it's stupid, but I just if you're in creative, um, so <laughs> there's there's a few ways to do these little, you know, sofas. There's the more traditional way, which is what I use, which is just uh, an oak stair and a sign. But some of the m more updated ways are using item frames and using little pieces like um, half slabs. So I'll show you both of them. I I don't know why people. I was going to say I hate them, but I, it's not that I hate them. It's more like I just don't get it. So this this only has enough room for one sofa. But you got you know, your little sofa. Oh oh yeah, we'll do a free free long sofa. Oh yes. Living the sweet life. Look at that. Now the other way is to use item frames and do this. Which okay, yeah. Mm. It's uh it's interesting. Or you can use my personal favourite way, which is no longer doing that with signs, but to uh, to this, which just looks so cool. Ladder. And that's how I like to do them now. Got your little sofa sitting on the couch. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Um, sorry about me. I, I'm going to stop saying clear your infantry because, honestly, you don't have to. Now we're going to do the bedroom. It's not really a room. We'll delete these because... Yeah. Do bed. We've got to have a little bedside table. Actually, we'll use bookshelf for this. Find a bookshelf. Bookshelf. 
and a torch on top. Done. We'll just leave a bed there, <laughs> okay? Right, and then over here we can do our chest storage area, which is where the jukebox comes in. See? Chests <laughs> for all of your storage needs. And then back here is where we do our anvils. Yeah, I was just checking if we'd done anvils over there already, but we didn't. So we'll do an anvil and ender chests. And there we go. There's some <laughs> interior done. Okay, guys, it is completed. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, hang on. Well, did it screwed up a bit. Well, that is <laughs> that's interesting. Um, let's fix that up, shall we? There we go. Anything else? Yep. Okay, so it's done. Look at that. Oh yeah, it is 100% completed. It looks so good, and you know what? <laughs> It will be on Planet Minecraft, so make sure you guys diamond that and comment on it for me. And, uh, of course, it will have a download, a schematic, to be more exact. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys have fun building. Because I sure had a lot of fun making this thing. And, you know, oh, it's just awesome. Hang on, let's let's do it. Let's get this Mr. Me piece shader going on here. I love this shader. Absolutely love it. It's time day. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's let's get a good screenshot, shall we? Let me see. Time sunset. <laughs> I I love taking screenshots at sunset. Print screen. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, download link will be in the description to the schematic. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.